farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of the lab, we're gonna talk about the, the Tunzi Comline Dock Skimmer 9012 DC. So this is great guys, uh, Tunzi actually, they came out with a nice uh, DC uh, version of their skimmer. I'm gonna show you guys what's all inside the box. We're gonna do a little review on it. We're gonna check out what all the components are, go through piece by piece. So these are what I'm gonna be running on uh, all three of these uh, 60 gallon tanks with the 30 gallon uh, sumps. So I got three of these, as you guys can see, I got one on each side of me and the one we're gonna use for the review today. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring you guys up close and personal. I wanna show you everything that's in the box, talk about the specs, what the ratings are on this, what size of the aquarium it'll be for. And just about, the, it's got the nice uh, DC pumps in here with the controller. That means you're gonna be able to do a lot less uh, power consumption as well, and you can really fine tune uh, the skimmer so you can get those really, really micro bubbles, you get a lot of nice uh, skim mate into to your uh, collection cup. So come on in guys, let's uh, let's unbox this and see what's all inside. All right gang, so here we go. So we got the Tunzi uh, Comline uh, Dock Skimmer 9012 DC pump. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what's all in the box, how it's all packaged, and then we're gonna see the unit itself, put it together, and then we're gonna do some of the specs on it, what the ratings are, uh, what's the wattage. All right, so let's go ahead, let's open up the, uh, the pump. So, let's see what we got here. So we open it up, and what are we greeted with? Well, just like Tunzi, you get all the instruction booklets in every like seven different languages, so you guys can see here. And then you get the limited warranty as well, the 24 month limited warranty. If you have any problems with your pump, you just contact them. You can either call them or use uh, their website and get a hold of them, and uh, they'll fix you up right away. So let's put all these to the side so we get our instruction booklets. What else do we get? Well, we get the skimmer. What comes in the skimmer box, it comes with a really uh, nice uh, brush so you can clean your unit, as you guys can see. You don't many skimmers come with the, with the brushes, so that's a great uh, pointer, guys, so check that out. And then you guys can see how uh, well packaged it is. It's all uh, bubble wrapped, it's saran wrapped, holds all the components together, so when it's being shipped, nothing's getting uh, moved around, so it's really well packed. So let's keep digging here. So this looks like the controller, so we'll pull that out here in a minute. So let's get the skimmer right out of the box. Let's see what we got here. So let's put some of this packaging to the side. Let's get this all out. So we can see what's going on. All right, so you guys can see how well packaged it is. So let's start taking some of this apart. Put everything to the side. So there you guys can see that's the, the controller. Got a really uh, long cord on it. So this is our skimmer component. So let's, uh, you can see how well, well it's saran wrapped together. So in uh, shipping, it's really uh, packaged really well. So let's try to take this all apart. All right. We got the skimmer apart, so I'll just lay it down for you guys. You guys can see it's got that, you know, that's uh, the tons of really nice uh, black, shiny black to it. And uh, when, as soon as I was open, I really noticed, like, look at the size of uh, this uh, collection cup. See that? That's nice. That's the big collection cup on it. We'll put that to the side. So if you guys can see in here, you guys can see this is uh, the DC line, the DC uh, needle wheel pump, um, but this little pump, it's gonna have a lot of less power consumption as well, and it makes a really, really uh, fine bubbles. The bubble size they're, they're rating it at is about 0 0.1 in diameter to 0 0.3 millimeters. So that's very tiny. So with the little smaller uh, the bubbles you get, they get that really nice uh, foam that's going on with the foam generator. Um, by saying that, when you have this, this uh, little controller that's gonna run it, what's gonna happen there? Um, it's going to give you the best uh, air to water uh, mixture ratio, so you can get the, you can really, really fine tune it um, with the controller. So that's great. By just having this small little pump, it's uh, 17 watts to 24 watts uh, power consumption, and that's that's perfect, guys. You got 110 uh, volts coming out right from the plug, turning it into 17 to 24 watts, whatever you would like. So let's keep moving on here. So it's a very beautiful unit. Um, the other thing that I really like about this as well. I'll move this around so you have your skimmer cup so you have your skimmer cup in here and what I like about that 
it's got the flash skimmer. So you guys can see this great. So what is a flash skimmer? Well, the, the Tunzi, it operates on the flash skimming. This means it acquires the water through the surface. So you're gonna have your water level. So with this surface skimming, what works perfect, it skims all the surface area and then takes that film. Sometimes you can have a film on the top of uh, your on your top of your water in your reef tank. So this will uh, remove that film. And then the other thing as well, it has uh, the foamer. The foamer really generates large volumes of those fine uh, air bubbles. And that's why you've seen that the DC pump inside, it's got the, the foamer. So that's some great uh, pointers on that. So that is a beautiful unit. So we'll just lay it down, we'll keep moving on here. So this is the, this is the controller guys. Same thing with all their, uh, with all their controllers. It comes with this really nice bracket here. And I'll try to take it apart for you. So you guys can see the controller and then the nice bracket so you can if you want to mount under your stand or on a wall and the great thing too you can either fasten it with, uh, with a couple screws in uh, into your stand or what I like about it they come with the, the two-way tape again you just stick that on the back and put it in your stand and you're good to go so it makes it perfect just like that boom done so the other I want to show you as well Go, let's uh, flip this around. So on the back, you guys can see here, this is your regulator for, uh, this is where you end up your uh, intake is, that it's getting its air to feed uh, your DC inline pump to make those micro bubbles. So this is where the inline is to get your air for your pump. So this is the skimmer so far. So let's keep uh, digging what else is in this box. So these feel like the magnets. So we got the magnets here that's going to hold the skimmer. So what we have to do, there's a little bit of uh, we put a few things together here. If you flip it over, so this is where the silicone buffers go. They're, uh, they're famous blue silicone buffers that help cut down noise or any vibration. So what they did differently here is there's little, uh, if you guys see, there's little spots here. We're going to put these little silicone uh, feed in and that's what's going to end up going to hold against your glass so there's no damage. So if you just go into your little bag here and they're just gonna, they send these little feet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just peel them off like this, and you're gonna place each one individually into the holes, just like that. So you just peel them off and place them into the holes, just like that, and you're good to go. So, and then here, if we just keep digging, these are the, the their silicone buffers, just like on their pumps. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it, you guys can see, and you're just gonna push them right in. So you put all four into the magnet. Just like that. So there's there's four there. So let's go let's open up the other ones so we can do them at the same time so I can show you what part is next. So here's the other uh, the other one identical to it. We're gonna put all four buffers in it as well. They're easy to do, you just push them in, just like that. You guys can see, easy. And then what you're gonna do is you flip them over again, you're gonna take these other little pieces of silicone feet and you're just gonna place them right into the holes, just like that. So it gives it a nice, so it's gonna be really nice on uh, your glass or acrylic, it won't scratch. Makes it nice like that. So I want to show you guys what we're going to do now. So we have our four silicone buffers. We're going to flip our skimmer over so you guys can see all the four holes that match up on here. So this is how we attach the skimmer uh, to our sump or tank so we don't have any noise or vibration. So you're going to take uh, your four silicone buffers with the magnet. You're just going to go on the back where these four holes are like this. And you're just going to push down. See how easy that was? So now that this is hooked up, I'm just gonna take this off for now. You guys can see here. So now there's no vibration. You won't hear no sounds or anything and that makes it very nice uh, quiet operation. I'll show you guys the other one. So what you're gonna do is you take your other uh, four silicone buffers and you're just gonna push them into here as well. Easy. Just like that and all you have to do now is just uh, fill in the rest of your little silicone feet and you're good to go. And then on the opposite side, of the dry side that's going to go on the other side of your glass you're just going to put that boom you're good to go so that's a very nice uh, looking pump guys very nice skimmer looking forward to uh, putting that on the rigs and uh, see how much skim mate we're going to get out of uh, all these reef tanks 
So if we keep moving here, so what else it comes with? This comes with uh, your power supply right here. You guys can see 110 in and then uh, 12 to 24 volts out. And uh, all it's gonna do here is you got your, your uh, low voltage end. You'll end up just plugging that in the bottom of your controller just like that. Very easy install. And if you're looking at your uh, controller here, it has a button. If you wanna clean your uh, cup, you just push this once. It gives you uh, 10 minutes on or 10 minutes off. And then you can clean your uh, clean your cup and then you can walk away and it'll end up uh, just turning back on itself and just start skimming. So you guys can see right here as well, this is uh, your controller. You go from 20% all the way up to 100% for uh, your DC uh, needle pump foamer and you're good to go. You just crank that up and you can really tweak what you want for uh, how much foam and bubbles you want to create. A few more specs uh, on the, the DC uh, Tunzi skimmer right here. Um, if you have a mixed reef, this one's good up to 53 gallons uh, to 370 gallons, all right? And if uh, you have like a sensitive to hard corals, um, you'll rate it up to 132 gallons. And if you have just soft corals, you can go 307 gallons. Can't wait to run these skimmers for a year. Gonna end up seeing how much skim made we can get off out of these reef tanks when they get up and running. So we're so much closer to getting water in these tanks, guys. So uh, thanks for tuning into this episode. I hope you guys like this review of uh, the Tunzi DC Skimmer. It's gonna be great. It's got a beautiful design. I'm really looking forward to running it. So uh, if you guys want to uh, tune in same time, same place next week, you never know what video is coming up again, guys. Thanks a lot, guys. If you want to please subscribe and hit the like button.